still ahead. We talk uh, World Heart Day, which is tomorrow, by the way. But we will tell you, as we've been doing, I think, for a number of years now, something amazing that the Casa Preco Group has been doing with Awake Purified Drinking Water and their contribution to the National Cardiothoracic Center. But the stage is set, 81 schools battle ready for 1-8 contest. And I'm talking about the National Science and Mass Quiz. It gets underway today, beginning today. Maxwell Agbagba is joining us live uh, for some updates. Maxwell, a very good morning to you. Uh, PSCA, just when we started the show, teased uh, us a bit good with what you, we are to you. expect mm -hmm. in terms of the preparation and the schools that will be battling it out. You've been there for a while now. What are the competing schools saying? Mm. Well, a lot of them are hoping that at least they'll be able to make it past the 1-8 um, stage. You know, if you're able to make it to um, the quarterfinals, what it means is that um, if you get to the quarterfinals, you become a seeded school. And for now, um, many of the teachers that I've spoken to, many of the students who I've spoken to, um, are hoping to at least make it so that they become a seeded school. Um, so they would not have to go through, you know, um, the regional qualifiers in the um, 2021 competition. So for now, many of them, those I've spoken to, are keeping their expectations very moderate. Hopefully when they make it to the quarterfinals, then they'll begin to aspire higher um, for the trophy. Uh, but there are others also who are looking at the bigger picture, the bigger picture of targeting the trophy. And they tell me that it begins from the 1-8 stage. So we are waiting and we'll see how it all pan, you know, how it all pan out here at the University of Ghana Business School and then um, the NNB. I'll be bringing you details of those contests um, shortly, but um, we have with us Nancy Aso Esiedu um, Amrado. She is the brand manager at Altigo. And we also have with us um, Naneki Ankuma Asari. She's the managing director uh, for Prime Time Limited, organizers of the National Science and Maths Quiz. Um, let me start off with you. Um, I saw. Yes. I saw. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> tell us. Etel Tigo. Yeah. Um, coming on board this year. Mm -hmm. This year, right? Okay. So let okay. me. Okay. You want to give us a genesis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so between Etel and Tigo. Okay. In the past, before the measure, mm -hmm. Tigo had already sponsored the National Science and Maths Craze. So after the measure, and as part of our commitment to supporting education, which is a key enabler to our development in this country, we decided to support the National Science and Maths Craze again as Airtel Tigo. Okay. So we're doing this because we see that the youth um, are doing so well, and if they should also go into maths and science, it's going to go a long way to support the development of this nation. Okay. So we are coming on board basically because we support education. Mm -hmm. It is one of our key commitments in making sure that the country develops and grow or groom the young ones mm -hmm. to become our future leaders mm -hmm. in um, engineering, in doctrine, I mean, in so many areas of um, the sector. So that is why we are on board this year. Okay, I'll go to Nanaki right after this, but I want to find out your take on this. Um, there are many who think that corporate institutions um, are not really doing enough to push, you know, science education, to push, you know, STEM. A lot of them interested in other things that I wouldn't want to, you know, mention on this platform. Um, the National Science and Maths Quiz, I know, has enjoyed a lot of, you know, support. Um, do you think corporate institutions are doing, you know, enough to support um, educational, you know, activities like these? <laughs> <laughs> I think the writings are on the wall. I don't have to talk um, about it so much, but then I can tell you about my commitment. Okay. Okay, so as Etel to go, we are committed, like I said already, mm -hmm. because we see that education is a key enabler in the development of our country. Okay. So we are here because we want to make sure that we bring this vision to life. Okay. And I know other um, institutions, and Nikki, I'll talk about it, but mm. there are other institutions who are also supporting. Mm. So it's not just us, but then we are, let's say, a key fan mm. to math and science. Okay. Okay, let me come to you, Nanika. Nanika, we are the one eight stage of the competition. Um, we went to the regions. Um, I was in Greater Accra, Central, Eastern, and then Volta. 
my colleague PSC was also in the northern zone. Um, you were with us <laughs> a lot of the times. Now we are here in Accra, University of Ghana Business School and NNB. Tell us, what's your assessment of the uh, preliminary stage of the competition this year? Well, um, the prelims went very well. I was very happy that for the most part, um, the, it was quite incident free. People observed the COVID-19 protocols as we had directed and, and all of that went very well. Uh, some schools impressed me. Um, at the regional, St. Thomas Aquinas was not too strong when we did the regional qualifiers, but they wowed everybody at the prelims and uh, were the highest scorer for, for Greater Accra. And uh, I, I believe the second highest for the whole um, exercise. Um, um, Anglican, Kumasi Anglican was impressive as usual. They, they have maintained their form and I'm expecting really good things from them. A few others dipped a bit and, and that was a bit surprising to me. But I'm hoping that now that they have um, competed and have had a, a taste of the competition again, they are back into their groove and will be able to do very well at this level. Okay, okay. Let me come to you. Um, Asso, tell us, um, what kind of what kind of innovation, uh, what kind of um, things should we expect from Air Tortigo as you're joining, um, as you've joined, you know, this year's competition? All right. Um, thank you, Maxwell. So, for the first time um, on this show, we have introduced the highest Cora Awards. Okay. So what we do is that for every stage of the craze, let's say at the end of the day today, whoever gets the highest score would get a reward in terms of monetary. So at the prelims, we were given 1,000 CDs to the schools that came out as highest scorers for each of the days. And at this stage, the 1-8, we are offering 2,000 Ghana CDs. At the quarter final, we are increasing it to 3,000 cities. Okay. And then at the semifinals, also increased to 5,000 Ghana cities. Mm. And the grand finale, we are giving 10,000 Ghana cities to the highest scorer. Mm. So this is really, I mean, great news <laughs> um, for the students. And this is some good amount of money that can support you in yeah. terms of your school um, um, needs. So we are encouraging them to do well. Mm. You know, I would say that all of them are key winners. They can, any of them can win. Mm. So they should try as much as possible, put in your best, not just for the money, but then to make your school mm. also um, um, be held in high esteem. Mm. So we wish them the best and they should do their best mm. to win these laudable rewards. <laughs> You know, the good thing here is that for a lot of freebies that the talkers offer, they'll tell you that terms and conditions apply. Oh. And sometimes it can be very long. But this one, you just have to be the highest scorer and get the money. <laughs> you walk up the stage with the money, you know. That's a good part of it. <laughs> now, Nikia, it has been very challenging, very difficult in this COVID-19 period. Um, a lot of, you know, businesses have taken nosedive. Um, a lot of things are not happening because of COVID-19. How difficult was it? Um, organizing the National Science and Mass Quiz um, this year, looking at all the difficulties that, you know, um, we are facing as a people. Yes, um, we, we've had our fair share of difficulties mm. too, and um, we, are still, we are still experiencing challenges because um, when we do the National Science and Mass Quiz, we have a whole lot of people mm. on location. The schools, the, the, the students and the teachers and drivers, we have the crew, we have assistants, production assistants and consultants and a wide variety of, of people working on the show at the, at the same time. And so um, our first concern was keeping everybody safe. And we, so we've had to do COVID-19 testing, which thanks to the Ghana Health Service and Noguchi Memorial Institute was done for us for free. We are really grateful to them for that help because that was a, a lot of people. We've tested over 500 people in camp, yes, and, 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 and so far, so good. Um, we are providing masks and, um, you know, wash stations, hand sanitizers. We are educating the teams, practicing social distancing. One of the other things that we've done is because we are not allowing live audiences in now, we've had to 
um, do a live stream of all the contests from the prelims. Um, last year, up to last year, we were doing, um, we're streaming 40 contests live from the Wameath to the finals. This year, we had to go down to the prelims, go to the regions, so extra work, extra travel time. Uh, there's a lot that's going on and streaming 80 contests live uh, instead of 40. And that in just a year is a very big leap, double uh, at the same time. So there's, there's a lot that we've had to, to do to be able to have the competition. But we are, we are really glad that, that we can do it. And we are hoping that everybody will cooperate so that we can have it in a very safe environment. Uh, on, the, on the free mask, let me say I'm a beneficiary. I got a free mask, you know, <laughs> when I walked in here. And um, if you come to the auditorium itself, um, some of the seats in, in here have been labeled do not sit here, meaning you cannot sit very close to your friend because we're ensuring social distancing. And that has been the case throughout the regions. And we are replicating all of that um, here uh, in Accra as well. Um, I thought you, you want to talk about your products and some packages for young people old people, I mean everyone, <laughs> NSMQ, no discrimination, everyone is involved, yeah. we are all involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let me first give this short code to our existing customers. Okay. So there's this code, star 533 hash, mm. that customers can just visit there and get special offers. Okay. So if you are on Airtel to go anytime you want to get a special offer, just dial star 533 hash. And then once you do that, you get um, a wide range of different offers for voice data that would help you do whatever you want to do in a day or even weekly or monthly. For new customers, we have the free morning offer. Okay. All you need to do is to get a SIM card, mm -hmm. a new SIM card, and you are able to enjoy the offer. So when you, once you come on board, mm -hmm. the the, let's say the guy who would register you at the shop or at the retailer on the street, the hawkers, um, um, we call them freelancers, okay. the guys who are on the street selling SIM cards um, mm. would help you register, mm. be on Airtel to go money, and then once you are able to do any transaction from one Ghana city and above, you are able to get the free morning offer. Okay. We also have packages for young ones like this. Mm. So I know they, they would want to go online most of the time, yeah. and we've got big time data bundles okay. that do not expire. Mm. Yes, so all you need to do is to dial star triple one hash. Okay. You can get bundles that would you know suit your lifestyle. Mm. So just look at your data usage, or if you want to do more, there are higher packages mm. for you. So, I mean, I think it's a good timing for for the, the guys who are even um, competing or supporting them learn to go there, get data bundles, that would help them, you know, learn and then get access to the internet. Okay. And I think I've told you about the free morning too. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we are there to support. Okay, okay, sure. And you have a stand here? Or Okay. We have um, a sales team downstairs. Okay. They have set up, they would help you if you need a new SIM card. Mm. They would register you. Like I said, they would register you on NetLT Go Money. Okay. And once you are able to do any transaction mm. from one Ghana city and above, you are entitled to the free morning offer. Okay. So if you don't have a SIM card, just go downstairs, meet them, they are going to help you out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Nanika, I'm sure you want to acknowledge um, some sponsors of the NSMQ as well. Yes. yes. So, we'd like to say a really big thank you to all our sponsors, starting with the Ghana Education Service. They are the main sponsors of the program and the Ministry of Education for all the support that they've been giving us, not just on the financial side, but with the encouragement to think around our challenges and be able to bring this, this competition to life. Uh, I'd like to say a really big thank you to Absa Bank, Ghana for, for their support, to Airtel Tigo, uh, Joy News, you're doing a marvelous job. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> a big thank you to our 
uh, educational sponsors, Accra College of Medicine, um, Academic City, and, um, and um, Central University. They are giving scholarships, so we are still keeping the, the competition interesting and, and juicy for the participants. Thank you to um, Third IK Vision Center. I want to say a really big thank you to GTP for the lovely fabrics that they've been giving us for our, our quiz mistresses and, and other officials. Um, YFM, thank you. I, I, we are really, really, really appreciate everything. Um, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital, thank you very much. I want to say thank you again to the Ghana Health Service and to Noguchi Memorial Institute for the wonderful support that they've given us. Um, we are grateful. Mm. But before you go, you, you want to talk about your schools? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me start off with you, Asa. Asa, which school did you attend? <laughs> Unfortunately, my school is not here. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, but I... You, want, you still want to tell us? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was at Okwapman Secondary School. Max Walagbagba there, live from the University of Ghana Business School. And you know the one eighth stage of the National Science and Mass Quiz, it begins today. For most of us, we're waiting for the first contest. I'm rooting for the all-girls school in today's context. We wish them the very best.